I'm Andrew Christie. I've been appointed as chair designate of the Birmingham Children's Trust. Now, not all of you will know what Birmingham Children's Trust is. Birmingham Children's Trust is a new organisation that's going to be put in place to run essentially the children's social care services for the city of Birmingham. I'm really looking forward to a whole number of things, but perhaps at the core of it is Birmingham Children's Services is the biggest in the country. Uh, and what I would like to do is work with everybody to build on the, the progress that's already been made and turn it into one of the strongest and one of the best. Because Birmingham children deserve that, um, as do the staff. Um, and one of the things I've been really struck by in my year or so that I've already been working here is the loyalty, the commitment and the dedication of the, the staff. We will be, over the next year, putting in place all the arrangements that will make up the Children's Trust, will make up Birmingham Children's Trust. Um, and we will begin to operate as the Children's Trust, but we will still be operating as part of the Birmingham City Council. Um, and so the Children's Services will still be run by Birmingham City Council throughout the next financial year, that is up until the 31st of March 2018. Uh, so one of the questions I get, another of the questions I get asked is what difference will the Children's Trust make? Well, I see it this way, the Children's Trust is going to be an organisation that is completely dedicated to the delivery of children's social work services, children's social care services. So the difference it will make is an organisation which is designed and entirely tailored around uh, achieving and delivering those ends. So I think one of the things it will be able to do is be more flexible and adaptable than any service within any council can be. We need a period of stability going forward in the future. I have absolutely listened to that heard it and understood that as, a, as an, an issue. So um, one of the things I'm pretty clear about is that the basics of the operating model as is, as are in place, are sensible, sound, and we don't need to go about making major changes to them. But there will be some changes for support service staff, because what we're actually going to do is put in place support service arrangements dedicated to the Children's Trust. So inevitably that means some change. But I am also crystal clear, so I'm clear about the fact that we don't want to make, bring about major change in the arrangements of the social work services. I'm also crystal clear in the organisation of the importance of support staff in, make, in ensuring that the organisation runs efficiently, effectively and well. Um, without good support arrangements, we can't expect to have good social work services. First of all, thank you very much for w watching this, this brief piece. I hope it's answered some of your questions, but I don't imagine it's answered all of your questions. Uh, I'm very keen to hear from you. I'm very keen to hear what your views are, what your concerns are, and also what your expectations and what you're excited about as well. I really look forward to hearing from you.